Good morning. Welcome to my channel. This is Oblong Polka Dots and my name is Kerr. And on this channel, we talk about makeup, skincare, and beauty. So if that's something you're into, you've come to the right place. I'm running late. <laughs> so this is going to be a really quick chit chat. Get ready with me. Because yeah, it is one of those days, you guys. I just could not drag myself out of bed. So we're going to start the way that we always do. If you haven't been to my channel before, I like to prime first. And the primer that I'm really into right now is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. I did not like this primer before, but there's something about my skin that's changed and I like it now. Let's pop this on. Get my T-zone. All the places that get oily. Okay. And then let's go ahead and whew, there we go probably use too much let's go ahead and prime the lids i'm going to use the essence prime like a boss eyeshadow primer this stuff is so good it is worth its weight in gold you guys a little bit goes a long ways let's see just know that when you do oops, see that's too much I'm trying to smear some of that over here just know when you put this on initially it feels kind of oily and after that, it will dry down and get sticky. So, there we go. Like that. Yeah, don't worry about it though. Like I said, it will dry down and it will hold your shadow in place and prevent creasing. Okay, there we go. So, now that we've primed, I'm going to go ahead and grab a brush. You can tell I was running late today. I'm not prepared at all. I just have a flat brush. So today the palette I'm going to use is the Sephora Disco Diva. <clears throat> Excuse me, because I'm feeling purple. And I haven't used this palette yet. It's still got the packaging stuff on there. So let's pull that off. And then normally when I do my shadow, I go from lightest to deepest. So I think today I'm only going to pick two colors. And it's probably that top center color right here. And then the sparkly color right below it. And that's it. So I'm going to start off with the dark pot on the outside. Again, this is new. I've never used this shadow before. So I don't even know how it performs. <laughs> so I guess this will be like a wear test also. And all I'm doing is patting. I'm not actually blending anything in. And even with patting, I can see it's a little bit patchy. There we go. And when I put it on, I'm not going all the way to the outside of my eye. I'm just going short of the edge of my eye. Same thing on this side. There we go. I think that's good enough. Let's bring this side in a little bit more. Okay, and then a little bit more. If you hear my son in the background, he's chewing on pizza. All right, so now we're going to go in with that same brush, but just flip it over and pick that shadow there that's on the bottom, this one. Oh, wait, hold on, you guys. Before we do, let's go ahead and throw another primer on top. This is the NYX Glitter Glue. I love this stuff because it really does hold your shadow in terms of anything that's like sparkly or glittery. And just like with the Essence Prime Like a Boss, you don't need a lot of this. Like a little tiny bit goes a long ways. And I normally just pat it in. And you can feel it too when you go to use it. It does feel sticky. But not in like a gross way. It feels sort of like if you were wearing a very thin gloss, that kind of sticky. Okay, so it gets tacky pretty fast. So we're going to go ahead and grab that sparkly color and throw that on there. Okay. 
So for these shadows, they feel kind of, mm, you know that sort of top, not top spray, but when it feels like it's getting close to hard pan but shouldn't because it's new. I don't know how to describe it, but the shadows don't pick up very well on this brush. So I may have to play with this and figure out if there's a, a brush that would do better. Let me see if I can grab another one. Like maybe this one it might do a little bit better. Let's try this one. No, this one's not doing any better either. So really it's just the way the shadow's in the pan. It's very, um, I don't know. I just dug the brush into the pan a little bit to break it up into some chunks. And that's how I was able to get a lot more color on the brush. So maybe it's just the top that needs to be broken in, kind of like when they do an overspray. And then you can actually get to the shadow underneath. I guess just be careful doing that because you're going to have some fallout if you don't knock off the loose flakes from your brush. And then I'm just coming over to that line to try and blend it in a little bit. And put a little more on this side. Same deal. Just like that. Again, I haven't actually been like rubbing it. I'm just patting it in. Because I really like to have a lot of color on my lid. I like for it to pop. Again. There we go. It's kind of a dramatic look for a work day, but whatever. So now I'm just going to grab another brush to try and blend in the edges a little bit. I think there was like a third color in here I might want to use for that. So of course, now that I flaked all that powder off, <laughs> I gotta be careful. But there's a color right here. I'm going to use that to try and blend the edges a little bit. This is much more powdery than the other two. Yeah, that's better. And I'm pulling it straight rather than curving it because I want to have that kind of effect where it pulls your eye. So it makes your eye look a little bit longer. Learn that from Wayne Goss. Same thing on this side. Let's blend that in a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, what do you think? Good, so-so? Well, it's good enough because that's all we're doing for today. <laughs> Okay, let's hurry up and get the space done so we can get the heck out of here. I've been loving this True Match from L'Oreal. I use the color W7. And then W8 is my summer fall shade. And I use one pump, just the one. Let's pop that on there. I like to put this on with a brush and then go back in with a sponge. I just feel like it blends a little bit better. I would definitely call this like a light to medium coverage foundation. You can build it up though. So, and the price point is so ridiculously low for something that's so high quality. It is completely worth it. I think that it definitely rivals higher end foundations. I'm just getting a little bit of hyperpigmentation right there. It's from a scar from some acne I had recently. All right, so now that that's on there, oh goodness, I don't know why my light's going bright and cool. Oh no, I dropped my brush. We'll deal with it later. <laughs> so when I use a sponge, I like to use it dry. I've, I've learned over time that a wet sponge doesn't work as well for me, but a dry sponge works very well. So I'm just using that to pat in the color and get that blended in so that it's not all streaky, like so. Okay. 
See how nicely that blends in? It really does look like skin. It's very, very pretty. Then I'm going to use my Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. The shade that I use is um, Suede C 62W901. This stuff is amazing. I'm in love with this concealer. I hope they never, ever stop making it. It's so beautiful. The finish is ridiculous. You'll see here in a second. Let's just pop that on. Okay. And then using that same sponge, just blend it in. Look at that. It's so skin-like. And the match for my shade is spot on. And it blends so, so well with that L'Oreal True Match. They play very well together. So if you're looking for a concealer formula and a foundation formula that work well, these two work very well together. Okay, so let's try and color, cover some of that melasma a little bit. Put my nose, okay. So for the powder that I like to use for setting, there's a couple, but one that I'm in love with, you'll probably see in a million videos, is this Becca Hydra Mist. I don't think they make it anymore. Ooh. So I'm just going to use that to set this. I don't like to use too much powder underneath my um, eyes because I feel like it really makes my eyes look dry. There we go. That's good enough. Okay, so now let's find. Ooh, just making a mess. You know, that's what happens when I'm in a hurry. <laughs> just make a mess. So let's uh, warm up this just a little bit because I use a little too much powder. I'm using my Sephora, um, what is this called? Micro Smooth Powder. This is in the shade Deep. just to warm my face up a little bit and take some of the ghosts out of that powder I just used. Okay, we're gonna set that down and then we're gonna go for this blush I've been wearing a ton. It's called Savage by Nas and it looks like this. Just a really pretty, really pretty blush. Throwing that on the old cheeks. I like to go up and just underneath the eyes. Same thing on this side. This blush is so pretty and I sure do use it heavy, heavy handedly. <laughs> like I'll go a little bit overboard, but it's really beautiful. Okay, that warms up the cheeks nicely. And then lastly, let's go ahead and pop a little bit of liner on. I really love this Urban Decay liner. This one is called Love Drug, and it works beautifully with so many different shades. I'm just tight lining going right underneath where my lashes are. I don't tend to put liner on my bottom line, but I definitely use it on the top. And this liner really does last all day. There we go. And it makes your lashes look thicker. Just be careful when you're doing it not to poke your eye out. And I love the pencils that you have to sharpen because I just feel like they're a little more hygienic. It's a little bit. I'm not going to actually put anything in my brows today. My brows are tattooed. But sometimes I'll fill them in, but today I'm not going to because, like I said at the outset of this video, I'm running late. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Cryolin um, Ultra Setting Spray. Love this stuff, but it is strong. So if you are sensitive to alcohol, I strongly suggest that you test this first because it's a doozy. But... It does lock your makeup into place all day long, all day. The other thing is I also recommend taking this cap off 
and soaking it in water from time to time because it will begin to get clogged due to the way the formula is. And lastly, we're just gonna throw on some mascara and we'll be done. I'm gonna put on a lip later when I get to work, which I know I always say in my videos. And today's lip is probably going to be my, I have this Gucci lipstick that I really love. And even though I don't always like to go matchy matchy with like my eyes and lips, cause I feel sometimes like that's a bit much. Um, today, I think I'm going to go closer to that kind of wine plum route. So, yeah. Do the bottom. And there we go. All right, guys. That's it. That is a really super duper quick look that you can do for work. I've been chatting with you and the timer says it's only been 16 minutes, so we're good to go. Thank you so much for coming to see me. If you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.